Hi and welcome to Monthly Messages from Your Angels and Your Higher Self with me Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you don't miss anything. Now let's dive right in. Hello Capricorn. So the overall energy we've got for this month is the devil. <laughs> I know, let's not get panicked, let's not get scared. But this is your higher self. All the messages I give from the tarot cards are from your higher self. And the energy of the devil is about addictions and overindulgence and relationships that are toxic. So this month in February, we are looking at where we are overindulging, whether it be money, spending too much, spending money you haven't got, doing that retail therapy uh, without really looking at the consequences, whether there is a little bit too much alcohol going on, too much sugar, cakes, chocolate, what's going on with the addiction, where are we overindulging and it's putting us out of balance and it's bringing our vibration down and we don't want that when we're in a high vibration we feel happier we feel stronger we feel more aligned so the devil card pulls us down from that so february your higher self is saying have a look at the areas of your life that are, are actually not serving you where you it's pulling you down now this is a general read so it's going to mean different things for different different people all right so i want you to feel it for you what area of your life is that toxicity friendships toxic friends toxic relationships being very addicted to a particular person needy clingy not good for you we don't want this so we're looking at that and saying that needs to go it can also be about work just being a complete workaholic losing all balance because when we look at the details this is the overall energy for the month when we look at the detail now we've got a major arcana card here of temperance this is balance the energy for february is bringing you into balance your higher self wants you to come more into balance so temper pull back rein it in where have we lost control a little bit and why all right, it's looking at the why, what's gone wrong there? Why have I lost my focus? So that's what we want to be looking at. And the, alongside this, we've got the three of wands. Now this card is about looking into more long term. All right, look at him. He is looking at the that boat that's going to take him somewhere different, into a different place and space. Now, this can be physically, so some of you may be moving or changing jobs or looking at bigger horizons. For others of you, it's internally, moving to a different space inside you, coming away from that overindulgence and coming into more balance within yourself. Because what we've got with this, this is lovely, the Two of Cups. Now, Let's talk about the Two of Cups a little bit. This is February, Valentine's. Lots of love around. This Two of Cups can talk about romance, new relationships. The Cups is harmony and happiness. And the two there, where we are looking at the two minds coming together, the two hearts coming together, the two energies coming together and connecting. Now, very often this is romance. So for those of you who are single, this is a beautiful time in February to find a new mate, to find a new partner, and to allow that receptivity to be open to that. For others of you in relationships, we're looking at a stronger connection between you. We are looking at the future because of that three and saying, is this the right relationship for me longer term? Or am I just wasting time? because of that devil card, am I just in this for the wrong reasons? Asking yourself, which one feels right for you? All right, now let's look at the other messages. Now again, we've got a lot of uh, major arcana cards because we've got the star, we've got justice, and we have got the eight of wands. So let's talk about these. These three are going together, so let's look at these. The eight of wands... Where's he gone? There he is. The Eight of Wands, guys. This is a card of 
um, doing some work because work is uh, one's a work and this can be working in your job working in your life working in your relationships self-employment partnerships business we're doing some work here it can equally be doing that work on yourself we're doing that work so that we can come into our star letting our star shine right our star is wanting to shine and that justice is wanting to come in now at the moment both of these are reversed so we need to use the devil energy that we've got through the month that overindulgence and reining that in to turn these around all right because these are very powerful cards high vibrational cards and i said at the beginning this lowers your vibration it pulls you down it takes away your energy it takes away your light and by reining it in your vibration comes up and then these two can turn around the justice starts to come back justice is about fairness life being fair your relationships treating you fairly your work treating you fairly appreciating you valuing you and that star we want to be able to let our star shine reach for the stars don't compromise allowing yourself to want more want better and a lot of the time this is why we get into this devil energy we feel out of control we're not happy we're not in the job we want we're not in the relationship we want we don't know how to change it so we avoid we're very good at avoidance, okay? We are incredibly good at avoidance and distraction. And one of the strongest ways to avoid is to, you know, drink too much, go and spend money, and go and do things that are not that good for you to avoid the fact that that job is wrong for you or that relationship is wrong for you or you're being treated badly and you're not taking any action to change it. But if we pull this back, we rein this in, whether it be that toxic relationship, whether it be your children taking advantage of you and treating you badly, whether it be your job, whatever area of life it, this fits for you, resonates for you, by reining that in, you can no longer avoid. Your vibration comes up and you can really look at these openly, honestly and say, yeah, yeah. That relationship stopping my star from shining. This, re this relationship is not fair. It's not just. It's not right. And I need to take some action. Now that may be to leave it and disappear because we have got that card, which is very much about moving into new horizons. So for some of you, you're moving away from that situation. For others, you are able to improve the situation. So you're still moving away from it. You're in the relationship, but you're, you've moved away from the toxicity. You've moved away from the injustice. You've stood up for yourself and you said, listen, I'm the star. I don't deserve this. I deserve all good things. And this is what the energy for February is for you. Now, we're seeing that this is going to spring you forward so beautifully into March if you rein this in. Let's have a look what your angels want to add. And this goes with the messages that we've had. So from the oracle of the angels, we've got the light. And from Doreen Virtue, we've got the Adriana card. I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. So your prayers, you know, your subconscious is constantly reaching out to the universe and reaching into you saying, want more, want better, sort it out. Let's get things moving here. All right. And so those thoughts have been going out to the universe and the angels and the universe and source hears it. This is the law of attraction in action. What we think about, we bring to us. What we think about, we bring about. So you've been sending out those messages saying, help, 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 help. I don't want to keep overindulging like this to avoid the situations in my life that are not working. I want to face them and sort them. And they are going to help you. Your angels are going to help you to move out of that space and into your light. We talked about right at the beginning how this overindulgence, toxic relationships, they pull you down and they dim your light. And by shifting this, we're going to get our light so much brighter, so much better. 
So this is giving you an opportunity in February now, guys, to really prepare to get you where you want to be so that you spring forward into March. It's only next month and the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere. We want to come into the spring and then into the summer with a real spring in our step. I hope that this has helped to give you the guidance that you need and it may be worth you watching the videos for your moon and your rising to give you a better full picture of what's going on for you for the next month. And if you would like to book your own reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. You can catch me on live streams every week on YouTube, so be sure that you've subscribed and clicked that bell. And your weekly messages from your angels and your higher self are uploaded every Sunday, so watch out for those. See you next time. Bye.